On Your Side tonight continues right now at 730. Good evening and thank you for staying with us. This weekend will mark a somber date for the Mount Holly Police Department. Nearly two years ago, on December 11th, 2020, 25 year old Tyler Herndon was killed in a deadly officer involved shooting. It was two days shy of his 26th birthday. Officer Herndon was responding to a suspect linked to a burglary near the Mount Holly car wash on Beatty Drive in Gaston County. We've lost a hero today. Uh, Tyler Herndon was, was a great man. He is a hero. He served this community well. Uh, our community is less right now because we've lost him. It's former Mount Holly Police Chief Don Roper. In the days that followed, we saw the pain of Herndon's loss cut deep within the community he served. Tyler, I love you so much, and I'm going to miss you more than you will ever know. WBTV brought you powerful moments like this, a horse-drawn caisson carrying Officer Herndon's flag-draped casket to his final resting place before a 21-gun salute. His family, friends, and even strangers from the community all came together to say goodbye. Now nearly two years after his death, the city of Mount Holly is going to unveil new bronze statues in his honor at this weekend's second annual memorial service. With his memory forever preserved, there is hope comfort will be brought to Officer Herndon's family. Today I spoke one on one with his father, Mark, who says he misses his son dearly. Mark, first things first, what have the last couple of years been like? been hard you know the last day I saw Tyler was on November 27th and um, he died on December 11th I miss him every day think about him every day it's hard still hard even two years it feels like it was yesterday how much does he enjoy being a police officer oh, he I saw him talked about he said dad I'm he said I'm doing this or I'm doing that or this is what I'm doing next. I'm trying to get my license to do no other things, you know, like he wanted to do radar, you know, radar checks. He said, I might be going to class for that. So he was excited just to be, you know, moving up. And, but he loved it. He loved that job. What did he mean to your family? He was our hero. You know, a lot of people don't want to go out and be police officers, but he wanted to. He wanted to go out and protect and serve the community and he loved that, and that's what I love about Tyler. He was always on his job. He was giving money to people to buy, help pay for their gas. On, on Wednesday, the, day, the week before he got shot, a friend of mine saw him at a gas station, and he was in there buying groceries for a single mama, a, a, a mom and, and her child, out of his own pocket. That, that's just the way he was. He didn't want nothing in return. He didn't care if anybody knew about it. He just wanted to do it. When did you learn that they were going to have a statue for Tyler? Well, I knew when they started on the memorial, they was going to do statues, and they said it takes about 18 months to make. And it's like a, they took a picture of his uniform, and it's almost that, right down to his badge. And uh, we was informed last week that they were going to unveil it Sunday. I, I didn't know what to think. You know, it's like overwhelming that they going out to do this for my son. I don't know what to think. It was it. It's him to think about Tyler. I just want his memory to keep going. Absolutely. I was going to ask that how important is it to you and your family that Tyler is somebody that we continue to talk about in the years to come? Yeah, I just, I just don't want him to be forgotten. You know, the sacrifice he made and what he meant for Mount Holly. And I mean, what Mount Holly meant to him. That's where he wanted to work. That's where he wanted to retire. And I just want people to re realize when they go to the memorial to read about Tyler, who he was. Because I don't want to forget him. I will never forget him, but I don't want nobody else to either. How thankful are you that the community is doing this and, and putting this together and unveiling it in public for everybody to see? It's a great tribute to Tyler. I'm sure up, upstairs he's looking down saying, you didn't have to do this for me, but I know he's excited, he's glad. And I, as a family, we're glad, you know, to keep his name out there and 
just to keep his memory going. Big thanks to Mark Herndon for sitting down with us. The second annual Tyler Herndon Memorial Service takes place this Sunday at 2 p.m. The event will be held outdoors at the Mount Holly Police Department Memorial Plaza. Tyler's family has also created the Tyler Herndon Memorial Foundation. They offer scholarships to young people who strive to be first responders. You can search for that foundation on Facebook. Share your thoughts, any memories you have of Tyler Herndon with us. You can connect with us on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag OYS tonight. You can also scan the QR code that's up on the screen right now.